When I moved to LA, not knowing anyone, who would have thought that someday I'd feel like the ballroom of the Beverly Hilton was my cheers bar? Speaking of which, thanks to all of you who are still here and not already drinking downstairs at Trader, at Trader Vex. <laughs> I'll try to make it short. Um, I'm so honored to accept the, uh, this award in the name of Shirley Walker, who was both a musical powerhouse and, of course, a trailblazer and role model for women composers like me. The very uneven ratio of men, um, men, women to men film composers has been a hot topic lately. And tonight, I'm so proud to be part of the ASCAP way of addressing the issue, which is to celebrate the successes and to give women like me who love their career a chance to say, come join me. If we want more women film composers, we need more aspiring women film composers. And I think that comes from making it look like a great idea and not a political issue. <laughs> um, <laughs> clearly, this is a time of immense change in the music business. Not everyone in the music industry is handling change all that gracefully, but ASCAP is stronger than ever, constantly shedding light on new talents, building careers, providing musical opportunities, and somehow managing to show equal love and attention to the up-and-comers as they do to their superstars. While some aspects of the business seem to be falling apart, um, ASCAP provides a structure, support, loyalty, and encouragement that makes great careers in music still possible. As composers for visual media, it's usually out of our control whether a project will be successful or not. It would be nice, to, nice if it was all about the music, but we know that's not the case. How many people <laughs> have had a masterpiece that no one cared about, and then they cranked something out in five minutes at 3 a.m. one morning while stoned, and that's the thing that made them a star? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but, um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> for me, with such a lack of control over so many variables, it's those people who are always there for us, who just simply have our back that make it work. Joe Nussbaum, I knew that we'd be lifelong friends and collaborators since you taught me the, the art of garage rock score in <laughs> your masterpiece. Hopefully this is the one you were talking about. <laughs> uh, a film called Headgear, was that our first? Yes. Um, which was this amazing movie about an awkward teenager getting the worst, most humiliating orthodontic medical, metal contraption on his face to be um, completely humiliated during an already awkward time. Um, <laughs> um, I, our first hit of many. Thank you for being one of my greatest friends in the world as well as an amazing director. Um, Randy Spenlow, yes. <laughs> Randy Spenlove, first of all, congrats uh, on that best song Oscar the other day. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, with John Legend and Common, that was such a beautiful song. Um, how a music, music mogul like you knew to pick a nervous deer in headlights looking young chick composer and put her in the middle of the mainstream movie world when the stakes were at their highest. Let's. Just say you're brave, and thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, he hasn't just done that with me. Um, engineers, singers, songwriters, um, he grows his own champs from scratch. And, <laughs> and uh, some of them are here tonight. <laughs> and um, uh, I see a lot of people in power um, these days playing a sort of a defensive game and you're still working from artistic instinct and musical expertise and you vouch for the people you believe in, which is the reason I have the chance to be up here today. Uh, working with you has been one of the greatest gifts of my life and I'm so grateful for your support and friendship. <laughs> um, thank you to my ama amazing parents who are here. Who <laughs> um, Thank you to my parents who uh, raised me, apparently never having received the memo that gender was an issue when it comes to career choices. <laughs> um, you'll always be my heroes, and I've worked my butt off, mostly in an effort to make you proud. Um, and thank you to my agents, 
Laura Engel, and Richard Kraft, and their dream team, Sarah Kovacs, John Clark, Dan North, David Klein, Matt Davidson. I hope I didn't forget anybody. <laughs> um, Kraft Engel took me um, on at a very, er, very early in my career, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, the coaching you've given me uh, can outdo any inspirational sports movie. Um, <laughs> both in coaching and as a riveting drama requiring an over-the-top dramatic score. Um, and I credit you for transforming me from a timid, nervous girl with, a mu with musical potential to a confident, fearless warrior with a mean left hook. Uh, actually, I guess the left hook was from my boxing coach, who is, has also been an, an essential part of my team. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter Rotter, John Burlingame, Mark Robertson, Ray Costa, Stephen Lundy, Emily Babbitt, um, Bobby Marcus, Dan D'Souza, everyone who worked on that amazing video. Wow. Um, 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 did I, okay, <laughs> and all my friends here, all my friends here tonight. Um, and thank you to the amazing Michael Todd, Sean Lamone, Jennifer Harmon, Nancy Knudsen, Sue Devine, Rachel Perkins, Paul Williams, Richard Bellis, and my dear friend Jeff Jernigan for the, <laughs> for the and all, the rest of the ASCAP family for an incredible honor and for your unwavering support, friendship, and encouragement. So excited for many years ahead with you. Thank you. <laughs>